Often anxiety and panic attack sufferers think in extremes. Here are some examples of thoughts. Either I get over my panic attacks or I'll never be successful. My panic attacks make me a completely inadequate person. Of course these thoughts are untrue and you may not have these explicit thoughts. However, they can be assumptions operating in the background of your mind in one way or another. Often when we get emotional or want to make a point, we will simplify things into black and white terms. But reality doesn't fit neatly into such extremes. Such thoughts are an example of a cognitive distortion known as black and white thinking, also known as all or nothing thinking. In a previous video, which you can access by clicking above, we explained that a cognitive distortion is an inaccurate thought about reality. The distortion of black and white thinking is defined as thinking of things in absolute terms, like always, every or never. The good news is that you don't have to feel trapped. There is something you can do to get past this tendency. The key is recognizing that reality is not black and white. Reality is made up of shades of gray. Want proof? Just think of the last time you did something and demanded perfection of yourself. You may have gotten frustrated when things didn't work out perfectly. If circumstances are not black and white when you demand perfection in life, why believe black and white concepts apply when they concern your anxiety and panic attacks? If you have a hard time believing this, just do some research on any topic. You'll discover that most things in the world are not nearly as black and white as they might seem at first. This is one of the lessons that many anxiety recoverers have come to learn. These suggestions can be very helpful for developing more realistic thinking that is not black and white. And being more realistic can be very helpful in reframing the thoughts that are driving your anxiety and panic. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please Give it a like or share it with anyone you feel may benefit from it. Please use the comments section to provide your questions about stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia so that we can better help you. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the icon within the lower right corner of this video. You can also click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter where we cover the five steps to recovery from stress, anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia, and much more.